Hello everyone, Crystal here from Galaxy Finds and I have a vintage haul for you today. I'm super excited about it. It's like, I want to say one of the best, if not the best, vintage haul ever for me. Um, at least from getting everything in one place in one day, like, it's a lot of good stuff. Um, disclaimer, like, allergies are crazy today, so try not to be you know, distracted by my sniffling, <laughs> but you know, and I do have some, some purple hair now, you, you notice, um, it's not purple enough for me though. So I am going to repurple it again. This is not the first time that I've had purple hair. <laughs> it is my favorite, like crazy color to dye it. I've done like blue and pink and bright red and teal and all kinds of colors, but yeah, I haven't had purple hair for a while. So I was excited about that. I needed a change. Anyway, so um, if this is your first time watching me, I'm a full-time reseller on the Poshmark, Depop, and Etsy apps. Um, that is where these things will be listed, um, depending on the item. I usually, I don't cross-list a whole lot of stuff. I usually pick and choose which platform to put stuff on. I put most things on Poshmark, but every once in a while, if it's something like super special, I'll put it on Etsy. Um, if it's more like 80s or 90s vintage, I put it on Depop. So, with that said, let me show you this haul. I'm going to start with this because look at this. Look at these buttons. They are flowers with like little rhinestones in them. Oh my god, it is so cool. And those little flower buttons are on the side too. Um, there is a tag inside somewhere. I've actually heard of this brand too, which is cool. I, I don't know if this is like 80s or 90s. It might be 90s. Um, Doncaster. It's a very expensive brand actually. And it says this is 100% wool, which I wouldn't guess by touching it. I don't know. It says 100% wool though. And there is no tag. I'm really not sure. This might be like a 10 or something. It's got really heavy shoulder pads. The back is just red. But how, like, boss lady is this jacket? Come on now. This, um, I th I'm not sure if it's missing a piece with it, but it's so pretty. It did, uh, at one point, have, a, like, a belt, because it's got these little strings. But it's this very, like, delicate, pretty dress. Um, it's like a wrap. It's a faux wrap, I think. Is it a faux wrap? No, it's a real wrap. But if you wore like anything under it, that like a slip or something, this has like very small shoulder pads. The brand is Jolie California. I would guess 90s or 80s from this tag. The tag is very washed out, so I cannot give a size for this. But probably like a medium. I don't know. It's very pretty though. And this skirt is so fun. I don't really know what this pattern is, but it's cool. Is I don't know if it's like a horse horse saddle or something. I don't know. And I think I think it's like a ankle length skirt. It's pleated. It is um Friedberg of Boston, which, you know, makes sense because I'm very close to Boston. Um, it's dry clean only. So, this is a size 10, but, you know, obviously vintage size 10, so a little smaller. Yeah, so I don't really know much about this brand. I haven't looked any of this stuff up. I haven't steamed it, obviously, because this is a wrinkled mess. I, yeah. I love this jacket. This is just a Jones of New York. Um, I want to say like 90s. Uh, it is 100% wool. With shoulder pads. This like awesome plaid color. Red, blue. That is perfect for winter. Oh, there is a... I don't know if this was put there by somebody, but... There's a Velcro at the back. That's strange. I've 
never seen that before. But whatever. Um, yeah, it's cool. This is a great jacket. This jacket, I like, I passed it by because I, I was just like, oh, that's cute. But like, I didn't, didn't really look at it. I don't know what this is. It's like a furry, it doesn't feel like fur fur, but I don't know. It's heavy, short. It's got these cuffs with that same furry element. But there was no... Uh, brand tag, so I was like, no, whatever, but then I looked more closely, and I found a union tag. I can find it again. Come on. Oh, there it is. And it's an, it's an old one. Like, I would say late 50s, early 60s. Um, yeah, it's, it's an older union tag. So this is probably, I'm gonna say like a 60s winter jacket. It's small. Um, it has these cute little buttons on it, and it's heavy, so, I don't know. I'll just measure it and put that in the listing. This dress is so fun. Let's see. It's like a knit dress, like the material is like a knit, so it's definitely like good for fall and winter. Um, but this checkered collar is so cool. And it does have a metal zipper. Um, it, I'm pretty sure it has a union tag as well. Where are you? Yes. Uh, it's the remnants of the union tag. And I think it's about the same era as the last jacket. Like 60s-ish. Um, it's an older thing. No brand name or anything in here though. Which, you know, a lot of those tags fall out, but it's not really important. Anyway, yeah, it's like a midi dress, and it feels like it's a, like a wool knit. It's another one that, like, is very similar to this last one. Um, has a lot of pieces. Let's see. It's another, like, check hound's tooth. It's got, like, this attached vest with, like, these little clips on it. And it's like a midi length. And it is by Miss Dorby. Such a cute name. <laughs> Miss Dorby. Um, it says it's 12 petite. Uh, I don't know. It's got shoulder pads. It's got like ribbed sleeves. I don't know if this one had a union tag. I don't know don't see anything. The elastic is not dried out or anything, so it's been well preserved. It does have a metal zipper. I don't know, maybe 70s or 80s. I don't know. Like, I really don't. This this tag looks like what old, though. And it's paper underneath, so. I don't know. Some of these things are hard to tell, like, because obviously, like, certain eras, like, as I've known in my own lifetime, like, in the 90s, 70s stuff was real big. So, like, a lot of 90s brands, like, remade 70s styles. So, like, I know that happened in other eras, too. Like, if you go back to, like, the 80s, they, you know, were probably redoing 60s styles and 50s styles. And, like, it's, it's tough to know unless you, like, know the brand. So, I'm learning. I'm learning. It's fun to learn about, though. This is just a cute little paisley midi skirt. Or maybe it's just like a little below the knee. It's very small. It does have an elastic waist, but it says it's a size 6. It's by Lombardi Inc. out of Hartford, Connecticut. This, I would say, is probably 80s. Um, I don't think this has any sort of union tag. No. And it was also, I think hemmed because it's like kind of a messy hem on it I don't know that was cute though and it's got pocket no does that have pockets yes it does pockets <laughs> it does kind of have like a opening here oh okay I don't know yeah it's cute I love this jacket let me tell you 
Um, it is, it's velvet. It's very, very soft. And this pattern is amazing. It reminds me of like an old lady couch. <laughs> but it's so soft. And this also had some sort of bag in it. Oh, right here. Faye's Closet. I don't know that brand, but Faye's Closet. It has a lot number, which somebody on Instagram said that if it has a lot number, that it was made before 1979. Um, yeah, and it has a union tag, which also dates it. But this is this is a newer union tag than the other one, so I'm gonna say this is possibly 70s. It's so cute though. This sweater is just like a cute classic sweater. Um, it's by Heirloom Heirloom Dep Dependables. I've heard of Heirloom before, but not this uh, like branch of it. So it's just small, just like a cute little cable knit cardigan. Good basic. Now this sweater is like the one that was in one of my last videos just this little cardigan and it says that it is made with high bulk turbo orlon the brand is mademoiselle fifth ave it doesn't have a brand or any i mean not a brand a size but it's probably like a small it's got all these sequins on it it's a pretty decent shape for being a sequined cardigan <laughs> Um, there is no other tags on it, so I don't really know how to date it, but the other one I think I dated as like 60s, but yeah, it's very soft. Like, it's, it's a little pilly, but it's very soft. I just love it. It's so sparkly. This is a brand that we all know, <coughs> Caché, but this is the vintage Caché. It does have some separation here it needs to be sewed back together these pants are so fun so they're like a wide leg like I don't know what you call them studded not studded but like it's got these little dots they're like plasticky and it's an elastic waist it's got pockets they look super comfortable and it says that they are a size medium I'll have to look up the cachet tags on the um the vintage labels site like they're great if for like brand name stuff like you can see all the years and like what the labels look like and it's easier to date things I'm not really sure what fabric this is <laughs> let's say polyester I don't know it's very soft though I, don't know. I thought they were fun now this dress is definitely one of my faves it's probably one of the older pieces um but yeah it's like a large houndstooth and this like pattern up at the top i mean it is a little bit like yellowed it's by bonwit teller um so yeah i don't know and the the hook and eye i think one of them is busted so but that's easy you just literally need like a loop of string um yeah it's it's long and the buttons are just there for show they don't actually button anything but this one i think also had a older vintage tag i'm gonna try to soak this one in oxyclean because it is like very yellowed but it's so cool like i don't know kind of looks like a jacket oh here it is yeah, so then it also has this tag that says Abe Schrader. And then it has the older union tag next to it. I have no idea. I am going to try to soak it. I think it's really cool. If the yellowing doesn't come out by soaking it, I'm probably just going to try to sell as is. And maybe somebody else wants to put a little extra love into it come on yes um i got this this basic suede skirt um i recently sold a suede skirt from ann taylor one like 
last week or two weeks ago for like 60 something dollars so i guess they're in right now this is by bushwhacker i don't know that brand but it says made in the usa um it's got a little wear around the, the zipper part but it's it's a heavy well-made like suede skirt I don't know if it has any more labels. It says it's a 10. Obviously, it is smaller than a regular 10. Uh, I, had, I think it had a tag that's gone now. But, yeah, it's absolutely suede. You can tell. And one last piece I have is this amazing sweater. <laughs> this is so fun. I love it. The sequin spots go all the way down the sleeves like both sides it has shoulder pads just regular black shoulder pads it says it's a silk nylon angora and lamb's wool mix here so that's like a really well made sweater it's very soft it like I don't know it could actually be like a sweater dress or a sweater tunic like it's like it definitely goes over your butt I don't know if you wore it with like leggings or something it would be really cute yeah in charge is the brand i would say this is 80s i think it does have a little spot somewhere on it like right here but i don't know i don't think it's very noticeable all these sequins on it <laughs> nobody's looking at this stain they're looking at these sequins aren't they Anyway, that is my vintage haul. Tell me what you thought. I was very, very pleased with it. <clears throat> I can't wait to list this stuff. I think it's going to all do really well. Um, yeah, so I hope you're all having a great week. And I will see you soon. Bye.